Hello, my name is Danny. Welcome to Drive Crewing. And today we have a look on those 40 kilowatts of the near sand leaf. It's an early 19, 2019 plate. It's done 12,964 miles on the clock. The next MOT and service date is in May 2023. So I'm going to dive straight on in and see if there's anything noteworthy to mention on the vehicle. Please do feel free to pause the video at any stage if you feel like I'm going a little bit too quick for you. Driver's side front alloy, looking in great condition. A little bit of a scar and it's just up on this sort of side here. Very, very minor though. I thought I'd point that out. As you move away, it does fade away. Now, the whole reason for this walk around video is I've had a look around the vehicle beforehand and it is just to zoom in and point out anything that I do see that is noteworthy on it. But the reason for this video is for you to also assess the state of the vehicle as well. Now as I'm going around on the bodywork for it all, I will be pointing out as a certain thing, but I'll also point out a few little bits and bobs about this particular Nissan Leaf. So the 40 kilowatt battery capacity will give you, offer you a real odd range of roughly 145 miles to play with. So a nice mid-range EV up for grabs, plenty of practicality as well. Driver's side rear alloy looking in great condition. So lots of space in the back seats as well as space into the boot space as well. This one comes packed full of specs, so make sure you check out the full listing of all of that specification on our website for this trim. You have your full 360 camera, bird's eye view, as well as your front and rear parking sensors, and all reversing camera as well, which makes this an absolute dream to park on this four foot, I must say so. We also have full leather seats, heated front seats, as well as heated rear seats as well, so no fighting over that heated seat in the front for any of your passengers you all benefit from those heated seats in the nice lovely cold winter. Nice lovely way of heating yourself up. Passenger side rear alloy, a little bit of a scar and it's just on there. All right, as you pull away, barely noticeable. You also have a heated steering wheel as well and all this heated element does sound like it'll drain your high voltage battery a lot but actually it's run from your 12 volts so you're not going to lose any real world range. It's actually a nice kind of effective way of heating yourself up without losing any of your miles. Now, just a noteworthy mention on top of here, you can see there is a couple of dents just on the roof. We have got the vehicle booked in to have these two dents that you can see there, uh, remove and rectify, so that won't be there at the point of sale. The rest of the bodywork though is looking in really, really good condition. I do love these little chrome detailings all the way around, which don't come as standard. Now, the passenger side front alloy, in great condition apart from a little bit of scarring that's just on top of there as well all right and these little bits and bobs are factored into the price of the vehicle and it is to be expected with any second-hand vehicle front of the vehicle had a nice lovely facelift from the 30 and the 24 kilowatt models it's a bit bigger on the inside it looks the business and obviously that range as well does prove a nice lovely amount of practicality type 2 connection for your home and your fast charging and you also have Chatter mode for your rapid charge as well. And that's just keep you done beneath that little fuel and just there. We provide with the vehicle your 13 amp 3 pin home charging need, about four or five meters long. It'll be a type two connector going straight into your EV and then a three pin plug at the other end. So as long as you have access to a three pin plug, you'll be able to charge up your EV, no problem at all. Let's have a look on the inside, just all switched on. Comfort access button on the drivers as well as the passenger side doors. As long as you have a key on your person, you get a lock and unlock the vehicle. Nice, spacious cabin area. Beautiful, nice, plush leather seats, all looking still in really, really good nick. Minimal signs of wear on them. Also, a couple of ISO fixes and stuff throughout. Armrest, little storage space. Have your cup holders just there, your electric handbrake. You also have your reverse neutral drive and regen braking function just all through there. You have your e-pedal for your one foot driving experience as well as your eco button to limit how much access you have to the battery and try and preserve out some of that long range as well. USB aux input, you have your electric seat heating buttons through there as well as your 12 volt and the power button, climate control system and then coming up to your touchscreen DAB radio with your sat nav all through there. Nice Bose sound system, excellent speakers that you have in the Nissan Leaf. It's a nice premium feel to it. Nice low down wide wheelbase. A lot of customers say when they come back from a test drive just how smooth, sturdy and quiet it is. It's a very nice enjoyable drive. I had that front seat adjusted to my height. I'm about six foot one. Has plenty enough space in the back seats. Space for the legs as well as space for the heads. All still looking in really, really good condition. Hopefully you can see that for yourself.
and minimal signs of wear. Awesome chrome rounds the boot. Practicality does continue, as well as the chrome detailing as well. Really nice space to have. Get these floor mats out of the way. You able to see just how big the boot space is. Nice, big, deep boot sill. Plenty of space to fit in a couple of medium to large size suitcases, even with the Bose sound system in there with a the subwoofer. This is usually where we store the cables. You've got a couple of little side pockets just through there, as well as your puncture repair kit. Little buttons just on top, a 60 40 partition with the seats, you can fold them down. They won't fold flat, but enough space to fit in a couple of kids' bikes or an adult bike with a front wheel taken off. And there you have it, the 40 kilowatts in this and Leaf. If you'd like to find out a bit more information about this particular model, please do feel free to get in touch. Our number 01761 233558. More than happy to get you booked in for a four court visit and get you out on a test drive on the Somerset levels and really put it through its paces. Thank you so much for watching. My name's been Danny. I hope this video has been important for your buying selection. Looking forward to hearing from you all very, very soon. All the best and goodbye.